Hey guys, in today's video, I'm taking a look at iOS 12.1 Beta 3. This is going to be my follow-up video after Apple released iOS 12.1 Beta 3 on Tuesday. I've been using it and I wanted to share my experience with you guys as I usually like to do. We're going to talk about battery performance features and uh, bugs. There's a few of them that I like to mention on this version of iOS. iOS 12.1 aims to bring multiple features and enhancements to iOS. Of course, security improvements are going to be added to that, but new emojis, over 70 new emojis. Group FaceTime is coming back with 12.1, hopefully is baked and ready to go when the software is officially ready to go. We're also expecting dual SIM support and many other minor features and changes that will make iOS 12 a lot better. But let's talk about the performance over this last several days after installing beta 3. I have to say the battery is pretty good. I want to say the battery is pretty identical to what iOS 12 was giving me the official launch, which isn't a bad thing. I'm getting anywhere from five to six to seven hours of on-screen time, depending on the usage. However, there's a few bugs that are really annoying. The first one I want to talk about, let's go into messages here. And when I use dictation, when I tap on dictation, I want you guys to take a look here at the dictation icon. You see that little blue dot? That is the files icon appearing on a dictation every time I invoke it. So take a look again here. See it right there? That's the files icon. I wonder if Apple is gonna be adding a feature that you can add files using your voice uh, right there with iOS 12.1 because the files icon appears when you use dictation. That would be pretty cool. You can implement files that you have in your files application uh, through the messages just using your voice. You don't have to go look for them. So that'd be pretty cool. Let's see if that happens. So that's one of the bugs that I'm also encountering with iOS 12.1 beta 3. Now the one bug that's the major one for me is the one where you make a phone call and when you end the phone call, of course, when you make a phone call, proximity sensor turns off the display, so there's no inputs from your face on the display. The problem is with 12.1, the display does not light up when the phone call ends. It just stays dark. So you tap on the screen and it doesn't react. I have to press the side button several times, and if the other person didn't hang up, I would never know if they did or not because it doesn't give me the option to just simply tap on the screen, swipe home, or end a call, whatever it is that I want to do. It's kind of an annoying bug, a very annoying bug. It's been uh, plaguing me for the last several days. Every time a phone call comes in, if I go to hang up, I can't, and the other person may still be on the line because I have to keep pressing on the power button to see if the phone call ended. Overall, the software is looking pretty good. Performance is there. The battery is pretty good as well. We just have those minor bugs, but it's to be expected. This is the third beta. We can anticipate another beta most likely next week on the 15th or 16th as Apple is now on a one week release cycle if they continue with their trend and we could see the software hit the general public somewhere around the 28th of October or so. So there you guys have it. Just a quick follow up on iOS 12.1 beta 3. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Have a great weekend and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.